Much of Scandinavian knitwear is known for its unique color, color patterns. One cool thing about Icelandic knitting is that you actually sometimes will get more than two colors in one row. So it's sort of like Norwegian or Swedish or you know those kind of knitting traditions in that you get the very geometric patterns, but then you get that added dimension of, as you can see down here, having multiple colors in one row instead of just two. And there's a very simple and easy way to manage more than two colors in a row and keep your knitting even. So just like in normal stranding, you want to hold your yarn whatever way is most comfortable for you. For me, it's one color in each hand. Um, this is a very, very simple pattern. This is only a four stitch repeat, so you don't have to worry about tacking floats or anything like that. And that's, that's where having more than two colors in a row can kind of get tricky because then you have to worry about well, what's the back of my knitting going to look like? And am I going to have floats that are big enough to fit a finger through and things like that? But the way you kind of deal with that when you're doing more than two colors is, this is considered my main color here. Basically, you have two colors back here, and you just swap them. And you always want to pull them over each other in the same direction. So I come to this color, and... And the blue goes over the dark green. And dark green again comes over top of the blue. So if, you, if you've ever knit Latvian braid, you'll be very, very familiar with the way this feels. Uh, it's also very similar to uh, twined knitting. And so what you see is that instead of having long floats in the back, you actually sort of get a little twist of yarn so you can see the difference between the rows that have only two colors where you just get your standard float and then the rows that have three colors have a twisted float in the back. So as long as you're very careful with your um, tension, especially on the two colors that are going to be going over and under each other, um, then you actually end up with the same even tension as you do with the rest of the knitting. So. It's a really simple process. Uh, in this case, in this pattern, you know, it's only a four stitch repeat, so you never end up with really long floats or anything like that. So this is a really great little repeat to try out if you want to learn how to strand more than two colors at a time.